Hey guys, King of Charmanders here. Alright, so we are here to analyze the GOAT of all Pokemon. Actually, I think... Okay, so I've been playing Pokemon for a long time, and I think this is the first time we've actually had, like, a GOAT... Like, something, a literal, like, GOAT Pokemon. This is the greatest of all time, Go GOAT, which is... I... You know, I like, I really... They could have came up with a better name with it. I mean, seriously. Go, go. Get it? Pokemon Go and Go. It's like they looked into the future, was like, we're going to make Pokemon Go. And then you get Go, Go, which I have... Yeah, it's it's a really lazy name, okay? Anyways, Go, Go is a really interesting Pokemon because it is actually one of the better mons in this new Generation 6 release. The thing about it is, and what makes it really interesting is it's a pure grass type okay so hear me out here pure grass is kind of bad because pure grass pokemon are really susceptible to a lot of things mainly bug fire use okay so look you see this it has a ton of weaknesses and few resistances so you resist bug you you don't i mean you are weak to bug fire flying ice poison you're also resist but you resist electric grass ground and water so you resist a lot of things that are kind of meta depending on which format you're playing it in however you're also weak to a ton of things and because flying is very prominent in go battle league and all leagues it kind of sucks that you're really weak to ice and there's some fires flying around anyways go a really interesting pokemon overall just because of its move set behold it has leaf blade yes it has leaf blade but first let's look at its stats so go goat has an incredibly high stamina stat pretty high attack but the, what balances out this attack stat is really its stamina. It's kind of like a Wigglytuff in a sense. Not that it has charm, but Wigglytuff and Gagope have pretty similar stats as far as spread goes. For example, if we go over here, we look it up. If we look up, if we look up Wigglytuff real quick, this is Wiggly stats. Here's Mr. Wiggles. So Mr. Wiggles has, as you see, around not quite the same, but the, like it's kind of the same balance: high stamina, high attack. And then defense is the lowest stat. Same thing with Go Goat. Pretty similar. The difference is Gogo has a higher defense stat and it also maxes out at near 2798, which makes it perfect for Ultra League and Ultra Premier. Now, the issue with Ultra Premier is that Ultra Premier has Venusaurs running around and Gogo kind of gets. It kind of sucks because of Venusaur is a poison type. So you, it'll resist your Vine Whips, it also resists your Leaf Blade, but. It just really depends where you play Good Goat. But what makes Good Goat interesting, it's it's bulky. It's bulky, has an interesting stat spread, max stat at near 2,500, and has a really good move set. Now, I know I'm jumping around everywhere, but that's because I'm. it's just, Good Goat is just that interesting. Now, what makes Good Goat really good is not just the fact that it has some bulkiness to it. It also has some of the best moves in the game. Primarily the best charge move in the game, in my opinion, well, just like statistically, Leaf Blade is the strongest for energy move in the game. It does a lot of damage for 35 energy. The cheapest energy cost, but a high DPS output. And that's where Vine Whip comes into play. Vine Whip generates 8 energy a shot, and Leaf Blade, it, Leaf Blade is essentially... I wouldn't say it's better than Frenzy Plan as far as sheer damage goes, but because it because of its energy cost, it's a Leaf Blade is definitely Leaf Blade. You there's a lot of things you could do with Leaf Blade. You could fire off a lot of Leaf Blades with Vine Whip, and what makes it really interesting, it also carries a pretty good like coverage moves. Now Brick Break sucks. However, you have Rock Slide, so the fact that it carries Rock Slide makes it incredibly interesting because it gives you that coverage against Flyers. And also against ice types. You also cover fire types. So with Rock Slide, you basically take out four or five of its weaknesses. Because Bug is weak to Rock, Fire, Flying, and Ice are all weak to Rock Slide. So that's why it's really interesting. Bulky. 
has great moves and has a coverage move. So that's what makes it really interesting. Now, we can talk about Dust Cost later because it costs it does cost 50 grand, which isn't on the lighter side. However, as you see here, to power it up, it's also a little expensive. If you plan on using it for Ultra Premier, it maxes out at level 32 or 33. And if you use it for Great League, it's around like level, I think, 19 or 20. 19, 18, 19, 20. So you can use it for all three leagues. Well, not all three. Don't use it for Master League. It, it would, it would, yeah, don't use it for Master League. Just, it's, it's best using Great or Ultra League, mainly for Ultra League. But like I said, because of this coverage move, etc., it's very powerful and it looks to be really good for Go Bad. All right, here's my favorite part of video. Welcome to the Matrix. Now, this is where we can compare and see what we lose against and also what we destroy. Now, I have the goat, and I also have Tangrowth. So here's the thing. One of my buddies mentioned this to me, and I kind of remember it now. The goat is essentially Tangrowth 2.0. Leaf Blade takes less energy to do than Rock Slide. It also has a better stat spread than Tangrowth. As you see, they have practically identical stats. Well, not really stats, but identical movesets. As you see here, the stats are different. It Their stat, their stat spreads are very, like, different. Tangrowth has a higher attack than Go Goat, so, but bulk is better in go battle league unless it's master league where you can max everything out because it's just like a wild wild west but go goat is essentially like tango 2.0 leap blade has better energy usage costs less energy than power whip and they both have rock slide so if you run the sim this is what you get we run the one shield welcome to go goat so go goat is very very powerful this is the one shield we'll look at the two shield but we'll see the one shield first so in the one shield you basically beat the same matchups. However, the goat because of the goat's ability to use rock slide are are just it's bulk in general. It can it can be dragonite. You also beat shadow dragonite. So you beat road versions of dragonite. And for some, it looks like you beat Gallade. Like yeah, it doesn't look like it looks like Tangrowth with Power Whip can beat Gallade, but it doesn't look like a goat can with yeah. It's just so. The damage, the damage, uh, the DPS output does matter in some matchups, as you see here. However, with Good Goat, you are able to beat Lapras. You are also able to beat Machamp. You beat Lapras, you beat Machamp. I think you go, you just go straightly played with Lapras. Because Lapras can't, like, I don't think Lapras gets to an Ice Beam, or there's the Ice Beam. So, I think you just go straightly played, right? Yes. So, straightly played does KO this poor thing. As you see here, double Leap Blade. That's why it makes it kind of interesting, because as you see... Gagoat actually flips matchups compared to Tangroat's usage. The funny thing is, Gagoat might actually have some use in Ultra League, because as you see here, you're able to beat Mewtwo. You beat Armored Mewtwo. This is regular Ultra League, by the way. So you beat Mewtwo, you beat Machamp, you beat Lapras. This is the one shield. You beat Togekiss, you also beat Swamper, because you have Leap Blade. You also beat Scizor, which, well, this is, I don't have, don't, I wouldn't, like, rely too much on this particular, like, matchup, because this is IV dependent. Anything that's close to 500, you're close, you're, this is IV dependent. See how you live with only one HP? This is very IV dependent, so I wouldn't really depend on, on the fact that you do win the one shield against that. So this is just, so this is Ultra League. As you see, Gagoat is actually usable in Ultra League, because you're able to take down Togekiss, in the one shield and you take out a bunch of interesting matchups now you still lose against articuno just because ice shard will chunk and even though you fire off rock slides that's the problem as you see here articuno takes your soul with these icy winds because they do lower you and even though you do hit with rock slide and it does heavy damage articuno can still icy wind you down for the victory i think you can win the twos though no you don't you can only win if you're up a shield i am mistaken i am wrong you do not beat Articuno. You need a shield. You need to have shield advantage to beat Articuno. That's the only way you'll beat Articuno. Shield or energy advantage. So this is the Ultra League. Now I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna show you Premier Ultra. Alrighty, I quirked a few things, and now I also, and now here's the Master Premier. This is where the Goat would actually function like probably the best in my opinion. As you see here, the Goat in the One Shield takes out things like Ampharos. You also take out. The notable matchup it probably flips the most is Dragonite. Dragonite, is, there is a lot of Dragonites running around in Masters. I mean, in Ultra Premier. And as long as you can call the Hurricane, well, you should be able to bury them under a bunch of rocks before they ever get to a Hurricane. But let's see how much damage it actually does. Okay, Leaf Blade, you bait the shield, yada yada, and then you do the Rock Side, which does heavy damage, and then you Leaf Blade it down. 
That's how nuts it is. Leaf Blade just does so much damage. Okay, so this is where it gets kind of iffy. You do win the one shield or shield advantage, or uh, with shield advantage against Dragonite. So just keep that in mind. I don't think you can go straight. I don't know if you can go straight Rock Slide either, because as you see here, Leaf Blade does get the bait. Nine times out of ten, your opponent may shield. So you can play the bait game pretty well, because they don't want to eat a Rock Slide. But as you see here... Yeah, you, you can't go straight Rock Slide, so you need to bait that shield. So you either need to get energy advantage or, like, get that shield. So I guess that's probably the most important thing. But the, just the mere fact that you do beat Dragonite's a lot more convincing than Tangrowth. It's really good. Especially the Shadow version. Shadow version gets dropped under, under a bunch of rocks. You beat Ampharos very convincingly. As you see, stronger matchup versus Tangrowth. You also... You lose against Galate. I guess that, like... I think the Power Whip damage really does matter. I mean, it's still not an overall bad matchup. Like, 540 isn't a bad one, but still... Like, it's really good. Also, you do beat Machamp, which is really comfortable going straight Leaf Blade. So this is a key one as well as the Magnezone matchup. Being able to beat Go Goat and Magnezone, especially since Magnezone still is, like, kind of a nuisance in Ultra Premier, especially since you see it so much. As you see here, you could just... You beat Machamp in the 1s and the zeros, just going straight Leaf Blade. And you beat Magnezone, which is freaking huge. Being able to beat Magnezone as well in the one shield is pretty good. And I'm assuming you go straight Leaf Blade too. Because you do resist, you, as you see here, you do resist the wild charges and you beat, you beat Magnezone in all shield scenarios unless you're down, unless you're down shield advantage, which is pretty nuts. As you see here, you literally just leap blade it to death, which is just nuts. This is real. This is what makes it really like the goat really good. You flip Machamp, Magnezone. You beat Lapras a lot more convincingly. Hell, you be, you even beat. Remember, I told you about the Scizor matchup. Be careful about that matchup because it's very IV dependent. But as you see here, you also lose. You lose against Snorlax, which is a notable matchup. You do lose. Machamp and Galati are probably the only matchups you probably should watch out for. So, Matt, that and Snorlax. Those are the only two. You do beat Togekiss, as you see here. So, you're able to actually beat Togekiss. Tangrowth beats Snorlax, but Snorlax lose, but Go Goat does lose. So, you do win some, you lose some. But, like, I would say, like, you flip more matchups. I would say it's more of a plus. As you see, you still beat Snorlax in the twos or the zeros. So... There's there's pluses to this. You also you also have a more dominant Swamper matchup because Leap Blade takes less energy. So it's overall it's a better version of Tang. It's essentially Tangro 2.0 for like Ultra Premier. All right, so here we have the pace in the Pokeminers data from the data mine that they did for GoGo. As you see, Skiddo is. Uh, Skiddo's kind of bad. Like, there's no reason for you to use Skiddo in any way, shape, or form. Even for the Little Cub, just because Rock Smash is a horrible move. But the thing about Skiddo is it still has Seed Bomb and Brick Break. So it might not be that bad for the Little Cub if you're looking back there. Go Goat, on the other hand, is pretty good. pretty Looking pretty dang good. As you see here, its buddy distance is 3 kilometers. And, uh, it, like, it's very, very interesting. Go Goat is definitely one of the top one of the like more notable picks i would say for generation six florgus kind of gets like the same treatment as you see here florgus is 100 candies florgus also has vine whip as well however with the lack of with like the lack of a really good like charge move pull i don't see i don't see it doing as much damage as skittle would in things like ultra in like ultra Vermeer. Anyone on that skiddo, like Go Go. But as you see, like anything that has Vine with definitely Go Go is definitely other than other than I'd say like Chestnut, like Go Go and Chestnut seem to be like two of like evenly very interesting picks for the future of Go Battle League and just for PvP in general for Generation Six. All right, so if I have to give Go a rating, I'd give it an eight out of ten. It's essentially Tangro 2.0, so this is why it's so good, and it's literally not just because it's bulky stat spread. One simple reason: this is Power Whip. That's Power Whip. Power Whip is 50 energy for 90 damage, and then this is Leaf Blade. 35 energy. So 15 less energy to fire your move and only 20 less damage. Your DP is 2 per energy compared to Power Whips, which is 1.8. So you have a better DPE, and not only that, it's a lot more spammy. 
so th that's like that simple change and to give good goat like that ability if you really if you really want to like just get like really into it or as far as like charge moves goes so here's leaf blade so leaf blade does this so where's leaf blade if we go down and we scroll down to where leaf blade is leaf blade is 70 damage it does just as much as iron head see that it does just as much as iron head just as much as magnet bomb and it costs less energy to use it's 10 less energy than magnet bomb and it's 15 less energy than iron head. see how these like point values just go like really nuts here's heavy slam heavy slam is also 70 damage but it costs 50 energy that's why leaf blade is just so nuts as you see here leaf blade has the same dpe on the level of hydro cannon as well as meteor mash it's basically like a community day move the equivalent to up. So that's why the goat's so good. I also give it an 8 out of 10. Because of that simple fact, it gives it more positive matchups. And it looks to be a beast in Ultra Premier and Ultra. You can even use it in Ultra if you wanted to. It beats Togekiss. It has some good matchups. I wouldn't... It may... It, it could be... It could be good if you really like it that much. But the goat is going to look like it's going to rock the meta. The only con that the goat has is, like I said, it's kind of like... It being a pure grass type kind of sucks because... Just like with Tangrowth, you don't want to match up a vi against a Venusaur. If you see a Venusaur, it's going to suck. So, and you you are susceptible to a lot of weaknesses. However, you do have Rock Slide as a coverage move. Just be aware of like what you beat and what you don't beat. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys liked it, please like and subscribe. Like I said, it's, the GOAT's going to be is literally like the GOAT. Because it's like Tangro 2.0. It's going to... Once it becomes available, you're going to see people go after it because it will... You're going to start seeing, like, the GOATs. Like, the GOATs going to run wild across all of Ultra League or Ultra Premier. Whichever one you want to use it for. Mostly Ultra Premier. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one. Hope you guys have a great day. And let's hope that the GOAT does not change anytime soon. No, I don't I don't foresee them nerfing the GOAT. I Like I said, it's like just like Tangro 2.0. Uh, so... It looks like it's going to be really solid for Go Battle League and that we're going to see, like I said, we're going to see a lot of the GOAT running around.